Hi, I'm Mike Graham, and welcome to Lighting Insights. Today, we're going to be talking about something that's new and kind of cool in the industry. We're going to be talking about the ability to control a single fixture over multiple protocols. What I mean by that is having the ability to not only control your movement off of a console, but control your pixel mapping from a separate source. In our Maverick MK2 wash, we have the ability to do this, so let's go check it out. For our purposes today, we're using two protocols. We're using DMX for all of our movement controls and dimming, and we're also using Klingnet for all of our pixel control. So if you look at the back of the fixture, you can see we have uh, DMX coming in over our five pin port, and then through our TCP IP port, we have got our uh, Klingnet coming in there. Now with the TCP IP port specifically, we can daisy chain fixtures out of here if we choose to. We can also use these ports to run in our ArtNet and SACN control. To set up our control options, we do that from the menu screen. So we're gonna start out from here. As you can see right now, we're in one single control personality. We can tell that because there's only one DMX address displayed. So we're gonna go into our control settings by touching the screen. We wanna go into dual control mode. We're gonna set movement to DMX, like it says right there, so we can click on that. Our personality we're using today is standard. Our start address is one. So we're gonna back out of there. Now we're gonna go to pixels. For pixel control, we wanted to choose Klingnet, so we select that, we hit enter. We choose our personality to be basic or standard. Basic gives you RGB control, standard gives you RGBW control. We're gonna choose basic for our purposes today. Back out. When you back all the way out, you'll notice that you have two different DMX displays. Your first display on top, is your pixel display. From here you can see we're running pixels over Klingnet in basic mode. Your movement is now under uh, DMX control. We're using standard mode. You notice that both of the DMX addresses are the same. This is totally okay. Because typically you're gonna be running off different universes of control. So for example, let's say my movement is in universe four and my pixel control is in universe 30. Uh, the fixture doesn't care, It's all, com all the information is coming into it. As long as your settings are set up right, you'll have no problems. One of the great things about using a media server for pixel content is it gives you the ability to change looks really quickly. It also gives you the ability to program really fast. So for example, I can set up a solid color look, whether it be red, green, or blue, or whatever, in my pixel generator. Then I can easily roll in a low resolution effect to give myself some really cool eye candy. I can make any different look I wanna have really quickly and really easily without having to spend a lot of time on a desk programming the same look. This will save you a lot of time in your programming and give you a show a lot faster. So for pixel mapping the Maverick MK2 wash, you can use any source you wanna use. As long as you can input that source over SACN, ArtNet, or Klingnet, you're totally covered. For more information on the Maverick series, check out showyprofessional.com. For Lighting Insights, I'm Mike Graham. Thanks for watching.